to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Rashida and I'm a stay-at-home work from home mom of four. And here on this channel, we like to provide you with all types of motivation. We have cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, mommy motivation, just realistic motivation to help you get you through your day, week, month, and year. So if that is something that you're interested in, please consider joining our family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on so you would not miss an upload. So I'm just like this. I was in the process of getting dress for the day and then i got a notification that i had a package in the mailbox so i had to run to the mailbox and this is what i got i got two new dossier perfumes you guys know if you have been watching my channel that i'm trying to be more intentional with you know how i present myself and how i put myself together i'm not saying i'm going to be walking around in freaking three inch heels all the time i mean maybe on day nights but I'm not going to be walking around like that all the time, but it is the small things that I'm trying to be more intentional about. Getting dressed every day, doing a, a skincare regimen, and even down to making sure I smell good <laughs> every day outside of taking a shower every day, of course. Dossier has been a big supporter of me being intentional to, I guess, finding myself or recreating myself after motherhood because, of, you know, as a mom, if you're a mom, then you kind of already know. You kind of lose yourself a little bit. Some of, some of us. Other ones, you know, you guys are lucky. But for the majority of us, we get lost sometimes. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Dossier, Dossier is a luxury inspired perfume company. And when I say luxury inspired, that means you're going to get the designer scent for affordable prices and they have a sense inspired by tom ford creed baccarage le labo uh, gucci they have male and female fragrances and they also carry unisex fragrances as well the first scent that they sent me was this powdery orange flower which is inspired by valentino and i promise you guys cannot smell the difference each perfume comes in its own separate box and you also get a card which explains a little bit more about the perfume that you're ordering. It has the top, middle, and base notes which you can figure out the ones that you absolutely love. And then it also tells you what scent it is inspired by. Another good thing about Dossier is that you try, you can try and then you can decide, which means if you buy a perfume, which essentially we are blind buying because we can't smell through the phone, right? If you blind buy a perfume and you don't like it, you can send it back, get a full refund. They do not take it personally and then they donate all of the bottles to charity so nothing is going to waste. The second scent that they sent me was one from their Dossier Originals collection and this one is the Caramelized Lavender in Hazelnut. This one one is definitely a unisex scent it has both masculine and feminine features which i absolutely love and is perfect for a date night i also wanted to let you guys know that dossier is now at walmart's only a select few aka baccarat which is very popular um ysl's black opium carolina herrera uh victor's victor and rouse flower bomb le labo and jay bonon's uh wood sage and sea salt so if you guys want to go try it out go ahead and check them out at walmart and if it's something else that you want to try go ahead and check out their website they have plenty of other fragrances for you to try also, a lot of people don't know this, but not only do they have luxury inspired scents perfume, they also have a candles, which mine already burnt all the way through. Absolutely love it. So if you are looking for any type of smell goods, go ahead and check out a dossier. I'll have a link in the description. All right. So for today's motivation, this is pretty much going to be like a get it all done video. I have a to-do list. Hold on, let me grab it. All right, so I made a little sticky note for my to-do list here. And I'm trying to get all this stuff done before the kids get home from school. Okay, so on my to-do list for things to do today, like I said, I'm trying to get all this stuff done before the kids get home from school. So of course I have to do my whole morning cleaning routine because I am not trying to come back to a mess. So we're gonna do that first. But also on the list, I need to do my cleaning routine um, for downstairs, I need to go to the grocery store. I need to pick up some things for dinner and just some household stuff that we ran out of. So I need to go to the grocery store. I also want to go to like um, Target and Walmart because I don't know why, but I'm kind of feeling like getting in the mood to decorate for spring. Now, normally I don't do that. I'll just get like flowers and stuff, but for some reason I want to. So we're going to test, you know, try it out and see what they have. See if I can find something cute that I can um, just 
put and throw around the house. I'm not trying to go too crazy like how we do for Christmas and stuff. We're not going to do that. So we're going to go see what we can find. So that's, like I said, Walmart, um, Target. I know they all have some stuff. I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for, but let's just go see what they have. Hopefully I can knock that out so I won't be searching high and low for different decor pieces. Um, what else? I need to either one look for easter baskets or two get stuff to create easter baskets i honestly want to buy them because i just <laughs> it's time consuming i know it's time consuming and i'm doing a lot right now at the moment so uh, hopefully we can get some good ones i know in the past maybe the past two years i have been making them but um before that, I purchased them and they weren't too expensive and the kids loved them nevertheless. So we need to do that. And then I need to get like Easter stuff like egg decorating, kits, just Easter's around the corner. <laughs> Easter's around the corner and we need to get that stuff knocked out because I'm not trying to wait to the last minute because you know you wait to the last minute, you won't find anything. So that's that. I also need to do some organizing. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to that today because, like I said, I'm trying to do a lot within a short time period because I'm trying to wait, uh, well, trying to get everything done before the kids get home. But anyways, enough of me chit-chatting. Let's go ahead and finish getting dressed, first of all, and then um, we are going to head downstairs and, you know, start our day because time is going, time is going. <laughs> All right, so my morning routine is pretty simple and I have a few videos on my channel that really goes into detail on like what my morning routine or cleaning routine consists of. And basically what I'm gonna be doing here is no different. I'm gonna be cleaning the kitchen, resetting it after either after dinner or after breakfast once the kids are already at school. So we're just gonna go ahead and take care of that. And then I need to move into the family room or the living room, whichever you would like to call it, because I need to reset that as well. It's getting a little messy in there. Of course, there's laundry that I need to put up, but that's not gonna take too long. So we're just gonna go ahead and get this floor together. Also in my morning routine, I do typically work upstairs, but I already did that. And when I say work upstairs, that means I'll go ahead and make all the kids beds, wipe down um, the bathrooms and kind of reset their rooms for when they come home they don't have to worry about it they can just worry about their schoolwork or something that they want to do but our like I said I already did that off camera and uh, so we're not going to be doing that in this video
All right, so we are now in a Walmart and I wanted to take you guys along and show you what they currently have in stock. Their Easter owl was literally just, I want to say maybe two owls at the most. And to be honest, because I am not used to decorating for spring, I did not have any clue what I wanted or what kind of look I was going for. All I knew is that I did not really fall in love with anything here. But nevertheless, I still wanted to show you what they had in stock just in case you wanted to run out in case something caught your eye. But like these bright colors are just not doing it for me i did like the reefs up top i'm not gonna lie to you but they were a little bit more expensive uh more than i wanted to pay let's just say that and i just think that for what it was it wasn't worth that amount of money but nevertheless those are the only things that caught my eye and this was pretty much the only aisle that had the main decor on them the other aisle was more so geared towards like the easter egg activities like if you wanted to make the baskets dye eggs like physical activities that you do on, on easter or for easter that's what the second aisle was for so it wasn't too big of a selection i did pick up some egg coloring uh kit or dyeing kit if you will and we'll be doing that as one of our activities it's kind of a tradition i know a lot of people do that as well but that's pretty much all i'm going to pick up i'm also going to be picking up some eggs too because i wasn't sure if i had enough to do our easter egg hunt so i just want to pick up a few more just in case and as you can see here they were not that expensive so walmart for my easter decor i don't know why that was gonna be a good idea maybe because i just thought that they would have cheap decor i like the little wreaths that they had with the eggs in it i thought that was super cute but i did want to pay 20 dollars <laughs> i mean i know i can reuse it but i just feel like that was just a little excessive for a reef from um walmart but I decided, I mean, I picked up a couple of things. Like you saw me put the little egg dyes in the cart and then I just picked up two packs of Easter eggs, like the medium sized ones. Um, they were, I think a dollar and 98. Anyways, I didn't pick up no spring decor from Walmart. And now I'm just getting out of Dollar Tree and I want to show you guys really quick what I got. Cause I was like, I can make this for less than some $20. But I picked up these little baskets for the kids. Easter baskets got two pink and two blue. And I'm gonna make their baskets. Cause I was looking for Easter baskets in there too. And y'all, why for a basket with like one toy and two pieces of candy, it was what $25 or $24.97 and then I was looking one for Naomi and they had the little small ones and they just had a stuffed animal in it and it was like 10 something um excuse me no I guess we're making um our own baskets so I picked up four baskets and they were just gonna load it up I got some stuff to um load it up with too let me show you I'm glad I came to Dollar Tree because I wasn't spending them that much money on some spring decor or oh, easter decor not even spring decor picked up some double-sided tape because i needed some i can't find my double-sided tape i have some what's this called mesh or tool that i'm gonna um, create something i'll show you in a minute let me show you what i picked up for the basket so we had this little paint kit castle for giselle and i got two of these sharks for um the boys so two sharks that they could paint i didn't pick up no paint thing for naomi because she's one and it's a no-go for me so what i end up doing was i substituted hers for this little coloring activity pack that has um what is that been? a coloring book three markers and two sticker sheets so that's what she's gonna have instead of the paint kit and then i got some activity books here we have Ryan, we have uh, Blimpy, we have Mickey, and then I picked up this adult coloring book um, for Giselle because she's kind of over like the little kid ones and I thought this would be 
cute for her. I almost picked me up one, to be honest with you, because they're, like, cute little things on the inside that she can, like, relax and do that. Um, also, what I picked up is some vinyl paper. I got some, like, hot pink glitter. And then I got some baby blue glitter permanent um, vinyl paper because I want to, like, put their names on their baskets. So I'm going to use the Cricut machine to put the names on the basket. And... Else. I had seen something on Pinterest that I, like I said, I wanted to make um, my own reef or whatever. So I picked up two of these and you can put them together and like zip tie them, but you can put the eggs on the inside and that's basically the reef. So I got two of these and that's what I got this for. It's like to add extra decoration. But on top of that, I also got this one. This is so cute. It's a bunny reef form. Instead of just a regular one, it has the bunny ears. And I just thought that was so cute. And it's only $1.25. So um, that's what I got from Dollar Tree. So if you're looking for some cute or if you want to make your own, this Dollar Tree had a lot. I should have filmed when I was in there, but I really didn't think it was going to be that much stuff. But they had a lot of stuff, a lot of um, Easter decor. So check out your Dollar Tree before you go spend twenty dollars at um at walmart or at target see i didn't spend 25 dollars in here and i got oh i don't tell you the number of items that you got anymore but basically the price i would have spent for one reef in walmart i got all this stuff um from dollar tree so that is my little Dollar Tree haul. Now we need to just go on with the rest of our day and the rest of our errands. I have my little list. Let me see what else needs to be done before we head home because we've been out for a long time. <clears throat> um, I need to run the Home Depot, but honestly, I don't think I want to do that right now. So... Let's just go to the grocery store. I'll do a haul when we get back. I'm probably not going to film that because it can get redundant. So, all right, I'll see y'all back home. All right, so we're back home and I'm just going to show you what I picked up from the grocery store. It wasn't a big shopping run, but you know, I did pick up quite a few things. So the first thing here is my breakfast sausages. These are vegan sausages. If you're interested, they are really good. I only recommend the maple flavor. Then I just picked up two of these um, shrimp fried rices. Again, when I'm busy and on the move, if I haven't milled prep or, you know, I don't want to eat fast food, I just pop those in a microwave. I picked up some more chocolate chip or double chocolate and muffins for the kids to take to school for snack. They absolutely love those and they are a good size as well. I got a shrimp and crab boil and then I ran out of Old Bay seasoning. That never happens in like ever. But I picked up two different ones. I didn't even realize that this was 30% less sodium. Um, probably going to be taking that back, honestly, because it's not the regular one, but we'll see. And then these things right here, I absolutely love them. If you're on TikTok, you're probably seeing these go a viral, but I've been drinking these for a good little minute now. They are really good for you. They are um, prebiotics instead of probiotics. They're prebiotics. And I love the ginger and lime. It almost tastes like a soda, uh, like tonic water like a ginger and lime tonic water if you're interested in any of that again picked up some more yogurts you guys already know the deal about this yogurt this is a staple in my household and then moving on to some produce here we have bananas and then we have some grapes also picked up some cucumbers for like salads some limes and some lemons because you know taco tuesday is coming up so we had to get those on deck and then i have some mint leaves here because i want to start putting them back in my water some strawberries some blueberries for the kids snacks and for breakfast and then I, of course our almond milk one original one vanilla again a staple then i got this buttermilk because i want to try to make the ihop pancakes yeah don't judge me but 
Then we have some orange juice here. And then this is something new that I picked up is a lime margarita mix. So if you want to make a mocktails, this tastes really good. Then I have my kombucha. They didn't have the big bottle, so I had to get a few of the small bottles, which I hate because I just want the big bottle. It just takes up so much room in the refrigerator having these small bottles. But then I have some baby red or petite red potatoes some asparagus some yellow tuna i'm going to be making this for my dinner i'm gonna to try to meal prep this a little bit later probably not in this video to be honest with you but i'm going to be meal prepping that for me because like i said sometimes i just get too busy and i don't have a lot of time to cook something but i want to eat healthy um i ran out of my febreze fabric spray and this is the one that i absolutely love so that is everything Okay, let's make these flower arrangements that I got from Kate Joe's the flowers. First. So I have these, which is like a really pretty purple, and then I have my tulips here that are cute. So let's go ahead and make something. Okay, y'all, so for the tulips, I had came across this beautiful bouquet on Pinterest and I wanted to create it. Of course, I didn't want to do the exact same thing, but basically what they had, they had yellow tulips and in the water, they put lemons around it. So it was just this bright yellow bouquet and I just thought that was just so pretty and spring like so when i went to trader joe's and i saw that they had these pretty pink ones i wanted to recreate it but like i said i wanted to be a little different <laughs> so i had to think of like what kind of fruit can i put in the water to match the tulips and then grapefruit came to mind so i was like oh my god that's gonna be so pretty and i'm so glad that i did it but for warning y'all the fruit gets the water really nasty and soggy and cloudy maybe after two days at the most which i did not know but i mean it does make sense because the fruit is just exposed sitting in water but for that day or two it is pretty but I thought it was a waste of fruit if I wanted to continue to do it. But if you're having like an event or a dinner party or a brunch or something like that, I think it would be perfect. So definitely try it out if you're having an event like that. But just for every day, it was kind of, you know, a waste. So, but at the end, it still came out super pretty, super colorful and very spring-like. Now for these flowers, these was the first time that I was getting these type of flowers. I can't even tell you the original name of the flowers, honestly. I did not know how to prep these. Like I didn't know if I was supposed to cut that big stem off, which I felt like was an eyesore. Like I didn't know if I was to keep it on or take it off. I, I don't know. If you're familiar with this flower, let me know down below what was I supposed to do because it was really pretty and they made the house smell really good. So I would definitely get them again, but I need to know how to like prep these flowers. put these baskets together the first thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and separate everything to what goes in what basket the last thing we're going to do if we even get a chance to do it at all is put the names um on the basket remember I had bought the the thing but let me just go ahead and separate this stuff out so I can know like what we're doing and how I want it to fit in here okay so can you see yeah yeah okay okay so we got the bunnies well, they all got the same one because that's all they had okay. then they even got these Okay. 
then I each got heaps. The rest of this is just jelly beans. by May a word search y'all didn't tell me okay well May has a word search <laughs> Ooh, boy, I see you. okay well it's fine and then That's all I spilled in my baskets. Now I just need to figure out how to get it in. two of these look i don't know what it's called y'all modes let's look on the tag how about that oh a wreath ring so i bought two of these and the goal was to put the eggs on the inner because there is like a little bit here like a little fold and then zip tie it together and then that's my wreath so it just occurred to me that the eggs that i actually have might be too big but we're gonna try it out anyway because why not i mean the eggs are going to be used i really didn't want yellow i kind of want like all pastel colors mm -mm. okay well they might work they might work let's just see let's just Oh, okay, so it is to be I'm trying to figure if I zip tie it though, right? Will it fall? Will they fall out? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, first of all, I think I need to add something.
Okay, instead of zip tying it, I want to see if I can use the tool that we got and just go through it. This is the tool. I just took it off the roll. I don't know. We're just going to, we're going to see. We're going to make it work because I'm not paying $20. I'm not doing it if I can just get it around. Right. Oh. Around both of them. Um, let me just do this off camera because as you can see, it's about to take some time. So give me a second. Okay, we got it done. And I must say, okay, the bow looks janky, y'all, but <laughs> for my first time, well, is this my first time? Oh, I'm just going to say my first time making an Easter one. How about that? I think we did pretty good. It's pretty. We're going to put it on the door. It's better than nothing. And this was, what, two, one, two, three, basically $4, a $4 wreath. I mean, you do get what you pay for, but it's still cute, y'all. So, let's... Yep, that's it. But that is it for today's video, you guys. I didn't get every single thing that I wanted done, but I did get a good chunk out the way. Um, so we're going to be adding their names to it later if we get to it at all. And then I didn't have a chance to like figure out what I want to do with, you know, the bunny ears wreath. But I'm probably just going to wrap it in some ribbon and um, put it somewhere. And once I do, I'll probably post it on like Instagram. So if you're not following me, go ahead and head over there. I am active now. So um, my other social media is like uh, Instagram and TikTok does get like first look at certain things. So just make sure you follow me over there just to get a heads up. But yeah, like I said, that is it for today. It's time for me to go ahead and head downstairs and start cooking dinner and get these kids taken care of. Again, I want to say thank you for Dossier for sponsoring today's video. I will have a link in my description where you can go ahead and check out their website if you need some perfumes as well. But as always, I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.